Hello, this is Billy Core from HumanCarolinaCircleMall.com. It's November the 11th, 2010. Um, and if you just saw my most recent video, I did indeed come across a Packer Bell mother load. And right now, we're going to um, set up the Packer Bell Legend uh, 3550. As much as I like my old um, Packer Bell Multimedia S606, um, this one's closer to my original Packer Bell than this one is. So I'm going to push this off to the side for a little while. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. It's still a great Packer Bell computer. Um, I'll figure out some use for it because I don't want to waste a good Packer Bell. But anyway, um, I got it up and running now and it does work perfectly. Um, this is its installation of Windows 95 it has on here now. It's not the Packer Bell installation. It doesn't have any of the Packer Bell stuff on here. But um, it does indeed have 16 megabytes of RAM. It has, I suspect, two hard drives in it, because as you can see here, it's showing one, two, three, four hard drives and partitions on this um, computer, so um, I need to do a little work inside of it maybe, but um, I, think we, I think we've got a good computer here, so let's shut this down for now. Uh, as you can see, I haven't had a chance to set the Packer Bell monitor up yet. Let's turn it off. And let's open her up. Okay, that was a, this is sort of a stubborn side panel to get off, but um, I got it off now. Um, let's see, and this is, I suspect, there are two hard drives, so I'm going to try to remove at least one of them, and because we definitely don't need two hard drives and a Packard Bell most likely, but um, I also have, I also want to remove the um, Ethernet adapter, I'm afraid it might give you some, give me some problems since I'm not going to use this for the internet, so um, let's get to work. And just as I suspected, um, here are the two drives, um, I think it would be better with just one drive, you can see it's kind of, this one's kind of hanging down here, and this one I suspect to be the, um, What's it called? The um, main drive. So that's probably what I'll keep. So hold on. Well, after about 20 minutes of um, hard fighting, I discovered I might as well just put my hard drive, my 2 gig for my S606, S606 into this computer because, long story. But I got the network card out. Everything's good, good to go. Let's just put this thing back to there. And believe it or not, I got the monitor working. The only thing I hate about it is a big old scratch or whatever that right there on the in the middle of it. At first, I thought it wouldn't it wasn't working. It, the it wouldn't get any power to it whatsoever. And as it turns out, the AC adapter plug wasn't plugged in all the way on the back. Yep, as the kids say nowadays, epic fail on my part. But anyway, um, we're going to see if we can reformat the drive with the master CD and see if we can get this bad boy up and running. Uh, here we go. Here's the Curtis me and my. And that was a photographic moment, I suppose. <laughs> and courtesy of. My Legend 1510 Supremes boot floppy. We'll stick it right in here. We'll uh, just go through my CD collection here. Take this master CD. Stick it in the drive. Get out of the BIOS screen. Okay, just... Uh, actually, I want to go back to the BIOS screen. I got to fix the date and time on it. So, um, one moment please. And here it goes. It has a Phoenix BIOS just like my original 822 CDTW and my 1510 Supreme. Okay, it's reading the floppy. 
and it still has its original 16 megabytes of EDO RAM. Wish there was something I can do about that big old scratch in the middle. And if always I can use this other monitor right here. Probably has a Packer Bill overload today. <laughs> Okay, it detected the CD-ROM drive since evidently it is an NEC and this is the only thing it can read or NEC CD-ROMs. That way I don't have to use a Windows 98 boot floppy to get to the restore on this thing. Sees the master CD. All right, let's uh, click this. Click restore hard disk drive. Format and restore the hard drive. Insufficient what what? Okay, looks like I had an error message. I'm gonna click cancel and um I have to get a little creative here. Um one second please. Okay, I just um manually reformatted the drive, so I'm gonna reboot the computer here. Hold on. Okay, now the drive's reformatted, we're going to do this here. Okay, restore hard disk drives. And click restore hard drive. Yes. And since I don't have a format number, I'm just going to do a generic format. Here we go. It may take a little while, so I'll be right back. Okay, and a little while later, the restoration was successfully completed. So we'll click OK. Cross our fingers. Restore complete for changes to take effect. The system must be restarted. Move all discs and CDs and reboot the system. I love you insist. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. Like I did a little prematurely. Hold on, I'm gonna reboot the computer. Okay. Congratulations on the purchase of your new Packer Bell computer. We are sure that it will meet your computing needs. Press any key to continue. Thank you for choosing Packard Bell. Well, you're welcome. Press any key to continue. One file copied, one file copied. Detecting new devices. Um, maybe I can fix that scratch or something. I think I guess it's a scratch. 
So it's rather irritating me. But then again, I'm very, very lucky to actually have a working Packard Bell monitor. That one might work too, I just haven't tried it yet. Okay. We'll pause for a minute so I can put this information in. Okay, um, this is um, the final result. Um, I had to cut it kind of short here with the video because I got to doing something kind of important, but um, it detected everything. It's, it's like this master CD was designed for this computer. It's amazing. And this, I couldn't ask for anything more. Well, except my original Packer build back, but I'd say this is the next best thing. And uh, let's go to System Properties. Uh, everything's checking out. And, um, in fact, let's uh, restart the computer and see the whole process from the beginning. Speakers are working. Here it comes. Take a guess of what's about to pop up. Yep, Welcome there it is. From Packard Bell. <laughs> we offer you two computing environments to choose from. Packard Bell's Navigator or Microsoft Windows. You may also begin by taking a quick lesson on using the mouse. <laughs> lesson on using the mouse. Oh boy, those, will this joke just die already? <laughs> yeah, Packard Bell Navigator is running just fine on this computer. But yeah, um, let's see the hard drive. This, I believe, is a uh, about a two gigabyte hard drive. Pretty big for 95. But yeah, I think that will just about uh, test out the MIDI. <laughs> Okay, um, let's uh, shut this computer down. In a little bit, I'll get to work on that Packard Bell right there. So, for now, this is Billy Core signing off on November the 11th, 2010. Goodbye. newspaper from the day I was born. So for now this is Billy Core signing off.